Today is a special day because we get a chance to talk about one of the most underrated defenders in the league as a two-way player, and that's Kobe Bryant. I'm excited to bring you guys this build and hey, let's go ahead and talk about some key things with it. Make sure to subscribe and let's get it. Hey, if they want this smoke, then yeah, it's no jokes, boy, it sucks. It sucks in that end zone, that's a TD, we finessing, chuck. Now, as you see us over by the Mamba Court right now, we have to go ahead and pay homage to a man that was a two-way player in himself, and a lot of people just didn't value this side of his game, but those who were real hoopers really did. And that's Kobe Bryant. In his 14 seasons, he made the All-NBA defensive team 12 times, and two of those times he was on the second team, but outside of that, to get that pretty much more than a third of your career, hey, that's saying something in itself. Alongside that man in the 0203 season, when he was just on a tear, he actually averaged 2.2 steals per game, only to be overshadowed by who? Allen Iverson, who was the steals leader in that season, battling to get his 76ers into the Eastern Conference Finals and the NBA Championship as well. But Kobe was a menace defensively. I mean, I can recall from my memory exactly that he clamped up D Wade on a 94 feet full court press and burnt out the whole shot clock shading D Wade to his weak hand, forcing a traveling violation at that. And that was just something that made Kobe just stand out to me already as a two way player. So we're gonna go ahead and just dive into this one and let's see if we can make this build real quick. Now, when it comes to the vitals, we're going to go ahead and put them at the shooting guard position, right hand, jersey number eight. And then as we get into the body, we're going 6'6", 200 pounds, with a 7'1 wingspan and a solid body shape. I think this is just going to be good enough because, like we mentioned, right, we're going all defensive Kobe Bryant here. So keep that in mind as we're making this build. And I also want to reference a few things here. Now, I'm going to have a tweet show up from Zach Timmerman. And also, there are some other sources like Baluba that actually talked about that. If you don't know who Baluba is, he's Mike Wong, the gameplay director of NBA 2K. And he mentioned that when it comes to post control, this specific stat is related to hook shots, close shots, inside shots. Your mid-range shot though is tied to your post fade. So if you're doing post fades from the mid-range and things of that nature, your mid-range shot and your post fade is gonna be affected by this stat specifically. So as I'm highlighted over mid-range shot, if you see me level this up, this means my post fade, my mid-range, all of that. But if I don't touch post control, this is specifically like your inside shot where you're doing post hooks, drop steps, things like that. So just keep that in mind as we're making these builds here on this channel because I've been playing 2K for quite a while and every time they make that reference, I'm still able to shoot post fades with the builds that I'm creating. So outside of that, let's go ahead and get into the finishing. We're gonna stop this at 60, get the driving layup up to 80, driving dunk to 90. Now, you see we got 15 potential badge points there and see what has already been affected, right? Strength, vertical, and ball handle. So we're losing points off that already. Getting into the shooting though, we're gonna take this up to an 84. And what does that get us? You see we get tier three blinders, but that really doesn't matter too much because we're not gonna mess with it too much. But now we get Hall of Fame Mini Magician, Volume Shooter, Clutch Shooter, and Gold Green Machine with Hall of Fame Space Creator. Mid-range sniper Kobe we're talking about here. Like we're going all in on that. Ball handle, we're taking this up to 82. Speed with ball, 84. The reason is we wanna make sure we get that gold quick first step, gold hyperdrive, and also you luck out and still get Hall of Fame ankle breaker, which is a good look. Now, this is where the build is gonna take a hit. Pass accuracy. Kobe wasn't really playmaking like that, but he's still competent enough to make the passes. So, with the 70 pass accuracy, you can run silver needle threader. I know a lot of you probably don't even run a high pass accuracy, but I would suggest if you can get it up to 75 or 80, hey, go for it. Perimeter defense. If you go and look at Kobe in the roster, he specifically has a 95 perimeter defense and a 95 lateral quickness. This is where we are trying to get the all defensive side of Kobe. 94 feet checking Dwayne Wade, harassing Carmelo Anthony in those six or seven games that they played against the Nuggets. And with that, man, we just want to focus on that. So now the still rating, 78. This is honestly generous because in 2K, they have him at a 77. 
but 78 allows us to get silver interceptor so that's just gonna make it a little bit better for you as a player 58 block rating you still get chase down artists on bronze if you want you can try to take this up to 59 and get that silver but it truly is up to you and now we're gonna go to the physicals to get this right now we're gonna set this at 87 from there we're gonna go to 86 acceleration 75 vertical and then we're gonna take this stamina to 90. Now we can make a few adjustments to this to give us a few stats here and there, but I wanna just make sure everything is covered necessarily for this build so you can get the likeness that you're looking for. Take this strength up to 50. Now what we can do is get this interior defense up to 68, get our free throw up to 72. And this is a solid setup when it comes to a badge layout, right? So you still get limitless takeoff on gold, slithery finisher, silver, posterizer, silver. It's pretty much all you're going to need with that 90 drive and dunk. You get all the dunk animations that you're looking for as far as the uber athletics and things of that nature. But 15, 18, 20 and 17. So keep this in mind, right? If you're playing my career, you get four more badge points on top of what you already have. So if you wanted to add three a defensive that now gives you 20 and then you can add one to finishing which 16 18 20 20 or you can go to the shooting and then two to defensive and go 20 20 15 19 either way it's a balanced overall build so now let's go ahead and continue and let's take a look at the takeovers and this is very kobe-esque if we're talking about all defensive kobe here you get slasher take, shot creator, and then lock. And so with that, if I'm thinking of all defensive Kobe, I'm going easy blow buys, and then I'm also going pull up precision. And with that, we're gonna complete this build, see what shades we get with this one. And we get Jalen Green, Kobe Bryant, and Kay Cunningham, which I think is a solid setup overall, a two-way mid-range shooter. And if you check on NBA 2K roster, he's actually a two-way play shot. But that those ratings are unbelievable. And so let's go ahead and test this build real quick. Now we can take a look at the test of this build and how I would set it up if I was going to be using it myself. And when it comes to the finishing, like I said, right, we don't have the additional four badge points that we could add. But this is a solid setup to start off with. You still get Silver Acrobat with the Drop Stepper, Rise Up Post Technician, and Giant Slayer. And the main thing you're looking at is this Silver Fillers Finisher. Strengthens a player's ability to absorb contact and still finish. Posterizer and Limitless take off both at Tier 3. And if you can core one of them, you're going to be sitting pretty. So I think this is a solid start for this build because Kobe was still a relentless finisher. But for those of you that know how to play 2K, you can get by with this setup right here and do some crazy things at the rim. Now, when it comes to the shooting, pouring into Mini Magician and Volume Shooter, Kobe was gonna get his shots up. We know that the field goal attempts were up there and all of that was in combination. So to have Mini Magician, Volume Shooter, Green Machine, along with those catch and shoot and pull up situations, right? Agent 3 is gonna help with that, guard up, allowing that to, you know, increase the ability to make jump shots when defenders fail to contest. And of course, clutch shooter. And so I think this is a good setup overall. I mean, a lot of you will probably use Amped or maybe add Space Creator in that sense. Let me know what you would go with in the comment section. But when it comes to playmaking, I think this is a solid setup all the way around. You get killer combos to speed up the ability of you coming down the court, hitting your moves, hyperdrive, quick first step, of course, handles for days. I don't think you can go wrong. And of course, those of you that play 2K, you know you need vice grip because people are just reaching on everything the second you get a rebound or a steal. Now on the defensive side, this can obviously change, but the one thing that remains is that Menace is on Hall of Fame for Kobe. He was somebody that was gonna be in your space make you uncomfortable, say something disrespectful to you. And then after that, he was going to make you miss a shot or just smother you when it comes to not giving you a chance to get off a shot. I mean, there are clips of Kobe smothering Kyrie Irving or clips of him making Carmelo's life difficult. So with that, I think this is a good badge setup, especially with that off ball pest being able to just 
always be around your matchup. But outside of that, man, a two-way mid-range shooter with Kobe Bryant in the middle as a shade, hey, I wanted to make sure I just pay homage to a true two-way player in the sense that people really don't think of him like that. He gave so much effort on the offensive side of the ball that when it came to defense, people just, you know, sometimes fell asleep on it. But this man was a true hooper all the way through when it comes to his effort on both sides of the ball. And hey, you gotta make sure he's two way too. Hey, make sure to subscribe to the channel. I truly appreciate your support. And hey, let me know what you think of this build.